eOrganic proudly presents its Organic Dairy video series. The information in the series is brought to you by University of Vermont Extension and eOrganic, with funding from the USDA Organic Agriculture Research and Extension Initiative. eOrganic is eExtension's organic agriculture community of practice, providing certified organic agriculture information to farmers, educators, certifiers, and other agricultural professionals throughout the United States. For more information, visit us at extension.org slash organic underscore production. Hi, my name is Kevin Yonke. I farm with my wife Mary and three boys on Yonke Family Farm. I'm the fourth generation farmer on our farm. It's a seasonal grass-based dairy. Uh, we milk 50 cows. We've been milking here for about eight years. Uh, we started on the Organic Valley truck right away, and uh, we've uh, you know focused mainly on on the grass-based system and producing high-quality quality milk. Um, we use a CMP paddle to to monitor the cows and to hold out the high milk, and consistently uh, produce high-quality milk. Okay, I'm going to show you about the CMT paddle that we use. Uh, the CMT paddle uh, stands for California Mastitis Test. It um, just consists of a simple paddle that you, uh, that you squirt milk from each quarter into, and then there's a solution that, that you add to the milk, um, equal parts, one-to-one -one ratio. Um, what, what it does is the, the solution from the CMT reacts with the white blood cells in the milk, so when, when there's a, a high somatic cell count in the milk, it will react and the milk will gel up. So, so what you look for is in a, in a good clean cow, the milk, the viscosity of, is going to stay the same as the milk. The thicker that it gets, is the higher the cell count is going to be. So what we do is, is look for the cows. We screen out every cow that comes fresh. We screen her, look for anybody with a high quarter, and we hold that quarter out, and that milk goes to the calves. Um, we, we use a quarter milker to isolate that milk. We also have a second pipeline installed in our barn for a cow that, that's high in more than one quarter. So we isolate all of that milk to go for the calves as well. Okay, um, this is a quarter milker. This is what uh, what you can use to isolate the high quarter from uh, from an identified cow. So what the quarter milker does is, is normally you've got a milking claw where the all milk goes into four quarters. So with the quarter milker, you can actually take the milk from from your high quarter, separate it from the other three quarters, and it will capture it in this bucket. And it uses the same vacuum as the claw vacuum. Uh, they're pretty handy to use. And, and for the price that you would invest in the quarter milk here, it'll more than pay for itself in, in the high milk that you take out of the tank and milk premium. So it's, it's, it's kind of a win-win situation for everybody. And it, it's a really good tool to, uh, to lower your bulk tank score to hold that high milk out. On our farm, I've installed a second pipeline to isolate my, uh, my high somatic cell milk. So I've, I've come up with a device to utilize that second pipeline, and, and this simple little thing here has become my quarter milker. So I can hook this up to the second pipeline, take my milker unit, and, and uh, hook, the, hook the inflation up to this second hose. So right now, when I hook this up to the cow, the milk from this quarter is going to go up this hose into my second pipeline into the milk that I've isolated for calf milk. So what we're going to do is uh, prep these cows, and uh, I'll do a CMP on them. Um, a CMP paddle, in my opinion, is, is the absolutely best management tool that a farmer can have. So you get the milk to the outside ring, and then you just add equal amounts of the solution. So, and then you just swirl it around, and you look for the one that gels up. Okay, so this, this one is obviously gelled up. High cell count milk that we use to feed the calf, like I said with the second pipeline, goes into the other room. I've got a, a, a plate cooler that I use as a pasteurizer or, or to warm up the milk. The milk falls into a barrel, I heat it up, and then I've got a water line from here to the calf building that pumps it over to there. So I can feed all my calves, and with the system that I've got set up, I never even physically handle the milk. Pumped from here, it's pumped over there, it gets warmed up, and it's fed to the calves, and I never touch it. So, as far as a, a good um, labor based system, you can't beat it. You know, healthy cows don't fluctuate much in cell count. You know, when cows are under stress, when their nutrition changes dramatically, when their environment changes, um, you know, that's when the cell count really fluctuates. But if you can focus on 
on uh, you know, feeding the cows right, keeping them stress-free, clean, and good udder prep with, uh, you know, with good practices. You know, your cell counts generally are going to stay really consistent. Well, what do you average? Um, well, last year we averaged about 60,000 for the year. Um, you know, probably this year we might be able to be a little bit lower because um, we, we sold off a lot of our nurse cows last year, and so now we're holding out some cows that, um, you know, some of these cows I'm feeding to the calves probably have a cell count of two or three hundred thousand, but they're the highest ones I got, so that's who's feeding the calves. So it's, I mean, you know, and I think it, you know a lot of people ask me what's the secret to uh, you know to having a low cell count, and I don't think there is you know one thing. I mean, we all. Are good farmers or we wouldn't be here but there's just a lot of little things that I've been fortunate enough to be on enough farms to pick up all the good things that everybody does and, and be able to, to use them you know for my advantage.